Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on these Made in Mexico Lopez boxing gloves. So stay tuned. All right guys, so today I'm doing a close-up weigh-in and review on the 16 ounce Lopez lace-up training gloves. I got mine in this metallic blue, silver, and gold colorway with some uh, matte black. And I'll give you guys kind of the back history on these gloves here in a little bit after I give you guys um, some close-up of the details of these gloves, but um, it utilizes kind of a puncher style uh, latex foam padding over the knuckle area. And you can see the metallic looks really good on here. Really nice thick leather, handmade in Mexico. It says Professional Lopez Andrade or Andrade or Andrade S. And you also have a triple cuff on the back with orange stitching. And the plastic patent cover they put over this patch is actually really smooth and soft, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about that cutting or scraping anybody if you spar with these. Um, 16 ounces and then you have gold piping around the cuff. Uh, the liner is a polyester nylon liner on the inside and then rotating around just to show you guys you have about maybe half an inch of padding on the back of the wrist and maybe a quarter on the inside and the black leather on here uh, is very nice it's nice and thick and very nice green to it in texture and feel as well as the silver i'm not a big fan of these ribbon laces uh, because of how thin they are and they end up getting kind of tangled up um, I'm probably going to switch these out for standard laces or maybe even um, uh, round laces. I'm not a big fan of that, but not a huge deal. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that these, uh, these gloves actually utilize single stitching uh, throughout the entire glove rather than a double stitching. The gold piping around the thumb and no ventilation, so it does get a little warm. Uh, grip bar is nice and firm and large, so you can see how the the split of colors is with the black and the silver more stitching there and i decided to get these with a detached thumb as I, i'll be using these primarily for bag work hitting the mitts obviously not for sparring uh, but you can get this with a detached thumb it's completely up to you um, it's a little bit of imperfections right there where the thread is kind of pulling through the leather could have been done a little cleaner same thing right here on uh, the part where the piping is where the thumb uh, meets the index finger could have been done a little cleaner as well and show you guys the right side kind of the edges there same thing again it's kind of it's like almost like the same areas where you see the imperfections right here on the index finger and then right at that little u-turn so something that they need to work on in terms of just making sure that's cleaner uh, outside of that everything else looks really good so the leather looks clean and it's definitely a larger glove i mean when you pick this up, it definitely feels heavier than 16 ounces, but we'll find out when we put these on the scale. So let's go ahead and put these on the scale, see how much these weigh. Start off with the right glove. So the right glove with the laces is right at uh, 18.2 ounces. So a little over two ounces overweight. And to be honest with you, I'm not really surprised when it comes to Mexican gloves. I almost expect it to be overweight so again 18.7 so these are supposed to be 16 ounce gloves they're definitely heavier uh, than their advertised weight but that's just something traditionally I, I kind of expect uh, with a Mexican uh, crafted glove um, with them typically being more heavier than their advertised but let's go ahead and do the review hey what's up guys Carlo here and today I'm excited to bring you guys a review on these Lopez made in Mexico boxing gloves I got mine in 16 ounce lace-ups in this metallic blue silver gold piping and matte black colorway and before i go into the review i want to give a big shout out to edgar also known as the boxing collector for sending me these gloves um, if you guys don't know already edgar the boxing collector uh, sells really hard to find made in mexico boxing equipment primarily gloves so if you're interested in purchasing a pair of really hard to find gloves like lopez gill classics um, new sporting um, and other kinds of gloves, uh, even um, No Boxing, No Life, I believe you can get it, uh, get some of those as well. 
Uh, make sure you guys check out his social media, his Instagram, and I'll also put his website in the description box so you guys can check that out as well. Now, my first impression with these gloves is that they're the standard Mexican style glove, a little bit oversized, larger hand compartment, uh, very similar to Gil. And to give you guys a little bit of a backstory on Lopez, uh, Lopez is actually owned uh, by the son of the original manufacturer of Zeppel. Uh, so hence why the name is, is spelled backwards. And that's not really uncommon to see in boxing equipment. You, you've seen it done with like Cleto Reyes where I believe it was a family member that went off and made their own boxing equipment and then they just basically spelled the name backwards and created Sayer. Uh, so kind of the similar thing with Zeppel and Lopez. And I believe they're actually, uh, I don't know if they're family or if they're somehow related uh, but I believe Classics and Gill is also related to Lopez, hence why some of the designs look really similar to each other. Uh, mine is probably a couple little details here and there. So that's kind of the back history on that. These are smaller boutique brands that are not as well known as like a Coleto Reyes as far as Mexican gloves go. Um, but if you're in the boxing community or if you're a boxing glove enthusiast, then I'm pretty sure you know about Zeppel, Gill, uh, classics, uh, you name it, and, and uh, that kind of gives you an idea where we're going with this review. With that being said, looking at this design-wise, it's definitely a larger glove uh, when it comes to the actual size of being 16 ounces. It has this beautiful uh, metallic leather. Everything on here is genuine leather. It says Lopez, and traditionally, like a lot of Mexican-style gloves, uh, people will say that this is upside down, but they like to actually put their labels and tags uh, with the glove the fist compartment facing down so you'll notice a lot of uh, mexican glove companies do that where you see a lot of uh you know american brands they'll actually have the tag facing down or flipped over uh, so when you're holding the glove like this and you're looking at it you could read right across so it's, it's different for mexican made gloves in that regard so it says professional lopez andrade s or andrade s and then you also have that plastic uh kind of that patent patch over the back of the triple cuff or should i say Oh, yeah, I guess you can call it a triple cup. This larger, it's a larger section right here compared to the other two. So you, you do have that triple cup right there. Metallic leather looks really nice. Um, you also have the split thumb with the metallic silver as well as kind of this matte black. Um, you also have the option to forego the attached thumb if you decide to just use this primarily as a bag glove or uh, use it for the mitts. Obviously, if you're not going to be sparring with it, then that's okay. Um, but you could get the attachment if you wanted to, if you wanted to use these for sparring as well. I decided to forego that. Um, coming down to the wrist section, move these out of the way. You have that gold piping, about half inch of padding on the back of the wrist, uh, about a quarter inch on the inside of the wrist. I probably would have liked to see a little bit more padding on the wrist area, considering how large this glove is, especially there's a lot of foam in the hand compartment, just to kind of balance things out. I don't know how they're going to do that without having, without adding too much weight just because these gloves are already overweight. Um, they have these long ribbon flat laces. I'm not a big fan of these ribbon laces just because uh, they end up getting tangled and they're just, once you get them all tied up, they're just kind of a pain to put on. I, I'd much rather prefer standard laces or even round laces uh, compared to these. Uh, then you have the matte black leather. One thing you'll notice is that they use single stitching on these gloves. Uh, you also have the silver on this side. Metallics look really good. Really, really nice metallic gold piping around the thumb as well. Um, and the split palm with more single stitching right there. Uh, so it looks really, really nice. And then the uh, padding, I believe, is a latex foam padding, which is medium to soft density. So um, these gloves, you, you get excellent pop with these. If you guys haven't watched the video of me training with these and hitting the mitts, you can definitely hear it and feel it when you're hitting the mitts with these and even more so on the bag. Uh, so just a beautifully uh, crafted glove. Uh, quality of these gloves are really good. The only complaint I have is going to be the laces, which is, I guess you can't really call that a, a quality issue because it's not really, technically, it's not really part of the glove. You just throw them in the holes. The only area I found an issue with was the stitching, which I showed you guys earlier in the close-up. Uh, this section right here, you see it's kind of stitched incorrectly or not really very clean. And then the kind of that finger compartment where the index finger is at. Uh, that's kind of the two the two glaring issues. I mean, the leather looks beautiful. Uh, the stitching symmetry on the front and the back of the glove looks really good. The outside edge here is good. You know, the leather itself is beautiful. Nice and thick, has that really strong leather smell to it. You know, no issues with the labels right there. Uh, one thing I do notice about this label, though, 
is this is one of those labels that's gonna probably disintegrate quite a bit over time and it feels like it's painted on. Uh, maybe I'm mistaken, but you can actually see if you look close enough, some of that paint kind of rubbing off. Uh, so that's definitely gonna start flaking over time. Again, that's more of just marketing. I mean, you have this patch right here. So even if this does rub off, you can tell, still tell it's a Lopez product by this back patch, that's not going anywhere. Uh, inside liners, that polyester nylon liner, no issues there. I like the fact that it's nice and smooth. They don't use that kind of that rough canvas liner. So that looks good right there. Um, and one thing about the inside hand compartment is that uh, you also have that same uh, liner that kind of goes up into the finger compartment. And uh, I wouldn't say it's so much a quality issue as I just feel like they could have used maybe a better quality, like a um, softer kind of liner in the hand compartment area so it didn't feel so scratchy. But again, I'm nitpicking. Uh, but overall, I would just say the laces and the stitching is probably the the primary area of concern when it comes to the quality of the glove and then obviously the glove uh being about two ounces overweight um again I, if you were gonna we're gonna kind of nitpick with weight then to me they should be on weight at 16 ounces not two ounces over so those are the main areas of quality that uh, or issues with quality i have uh, slipping the glove on for the comfort this is probably the deepest finger compartment in any glove i've used to this day uh, when you slide your hand in here, you, you think you're all the way in and then you're like, oh wow, there's even more. So like I slide my hand in here and I'm like, holy crap, this, my fingers, I mean, my, my knuckles are, are fully exposed. I mean, this is in terms of a really deep finger compartment. If you have long fingers, bigger hands, uh, this, this will be perfect for you. These are slightly a little too large for my hands. Um, the foam feels good on the inside. So that's really comfortable with a liner. It's a little scratchy. Thumb feels really good. Um, I'm glad I got it detached so I have more flexibility when I'm using this. It has a really nice broken in feel, which I love right off the bat. So you can, I mean, you can see how, I mean, I can open my hand all the way open. So that's a great thing. And that has a lot to do with the latex foam they use in here, but um, it feels really comfortable. Surprisingly, it's similar to the gill. If you have a pair of gills and you'll know what I mean, it has a very similar uh, fit, just a deeper finger compartment than the gills. And there's like an extra grip bar so you have this grip bar right here, and then there's another, almost like a rolled grip grip bar right inside here you, that you can't see, but you can feel it with your finger. So you almost like have this dual grip bar system just because of how deep uh, this finger compartment is. So um, it might just get some getting used to, but I, I definitely like it. I like the fact that because of that, I mean, you have this nice punching surface and my fingers is rolled completely underneath and my two front knuckles are completely exposed and make contact so when you land uh, it feels really good uh, protection and performance these are definitely a more of a puncher's glove softer foam padding um, you can definitely feel the shock of the punch when you land a punch with these but you get excellent pop i mean if you love that bang that you get out of puncher's gloves that nice popping sound and that visceral feel of landing a really solid punch um, then you'll definitely get it with these if you have a hand injury knuckle soreness any something like that around your hand, any kind of injury, um, then just be aware that you definitely will feel the force of your punch come through. But if you're if you're you know if you're uh, rock solid and you really want to get these gloves and you're committed to these gloves, then you know at most supplement yourself with like a pair of uh, gel gel knuckle guards to kind of uh, take the brunt of that force away from it, so that way you can enjoy the glove still um, and not have to worry about injuring or re-injuring your hands. So. Uh, but you definitely feel the feedback. But that pop, that sound that you get, I love it, man. And, and you don't get that with a lot of gloves, that excellent pop and feedback. You definitely get it with these Lopez's. Uh, so I definitely love that fact uh, that the gloves have the feedback. Softer foam padding um, and a really nice deep finger compartment. Cost-wise, these gloves retail at $189. Uh, when you go onto the Boxing Collector website, you can choose your kind of your customization, your sizing, and the colorway you want to go with. But um, I definitely think it's worth the price at $189. Uh, good craftsmanship overall, especially when it comes to the leather. Um, the only areas I would say again would be the stitching would be would be kind of the the, the red flag there. Uh, but I definitely love the pop, the feedback. Um, for a Mexican style glove, they're fairly comfortable. I love the really deep finger compartment. I think if they fix the stitching, 
and just give you better laces, like some round laces or just standard flat laces, um, then you know I think these would be a home run. Not to say that they're they're not a home run. I think I'd say that they're uh, you know three bases in and haven't gotten to home plate just yet. Uh, but I definitely think at 189 bucks is definitely a fair price to pay uh, for a glove of this caliber. If you have longer fingers or bigger hands, especially so for you guys out there with the bigger hands, I think that you guys will love these gloves. So if you guys have any questions or comments, I usually put them down below. I'll put the link in the description box to the Boxing Collector's website, and I'll see you guys later. Take care.